for every video posted on YouTube relating to anything 3D, you will find hundreds of people in the comment section having civil and objective discussions on what the best 3D software is, being all polite and conceding to good arguments and never resorting to name calling or any sorts of shenanigans. So let's see those civil discussions in the comment sections. If you are asking which of the two is better, Blender or Cinema 4D, it's hard to get a conclusive answer to what's the best software given they all almost always best each other in different categories. What complicates things even further is the fact that one person may think Cinema 4D is better than Blender and also think Blender is better than a 3ds Max and yet conclude other 3ds Max is better than Cinema 4D. It can be confusing. So the best answer for this question would be it depends but that's not what we're going to do here. I will attempt to give you a decisive winner by the end of this video so let's get to it. A couple years back this would be a clear win for Cinema 4D as Blender had a lot of limitations especially with its unwelcoming user interface but since the introduction of Blender 2.8 Blender has attained a lot of positives to bring to the table in this discussion. To start off let's begin by stating some facts before we get into personal and biased opinions. Blender vs Cinema 4D facts. Fact number one, Blender is an open source project funded through donations from the community. You can download or edit the source code to make something different, unlike Cinema 4D, a proprietary commercial software by Maxon. Cinema 4D was released in 1990, meaning it has been around for about 30 years, while Blender is 26 years. Fact number three, Blender is completely free while Cinema 4D has a subscription-based pricing starting at 60 euros or 72 dollars a month if billed at once or 101 euros equivalent to 122 dollars a month billed monthly if you want a perpetual license for both softwares you can get one for cinema 4d at about 3509 euros or 4243 us dollars which is a bit expensive compared to blender's zero cost in euros which translates to still zero dollars for their perpetual license which doesn't even exist as blender's license is essentially perpetual from download fact number three now let's talk about the size of the download blender is roughly about 100 mbs while cinema 4d is about 400 mbs given the fact that blender can do anything cinema 4d can do even doing it better in some areas i'm tempted to say size doesn't matter in this context blender vs cinema 4d features Blender is a full 3D package meaning texturing, modeling, sculpting, lighting and rendering are all done in one package while Cinema 4D previously had more than one version but since Cinema 4D R21 only one version of Cinema 4D is available. It replaces all variants including Body Paint, Cinema 4D Studio and others. From R21 all binaries were unified. There is no technical difference between commercial, educational or demo versions. Both Cinema 4D and Blender focus mostly on polygon modeling including manipulating vertex, edges, faces to shape polygons into anything. Though they are mostly centered on polygon modeling, they also support nab surfaces and spline modeling. While you can do sculpting in Cinema 4D, Blender decisively wins in this category. With a dedicated workspace, sculpting brushes and updates almost every week compared to Cinema 4D's limited sculpting tool, this decisive win not only goes to Blender but it seems it will stay like that for a while. When you have an idea in your head, it's always better to have it down and how fast your application opens may determine whether you forget that amazing idea or not. We all know Blender loads really fast but to my surprise, so does Cinema 4D, sometimes even beating Blender's loading speed user interface and user experience. The interface of any application is the first thing you see and interact with when working with any 3D application. Cinema 4D is well known for being one of the best if not the best 3D software for ease of operation within the user interface. All object properties, add-ons, brush settings can be found in one area which is not the case with Blender. With Blender all add-ons have their settings in different panels. Sometimes you'll find the settings in the properties panel, other times you'll find it in the object settings panel or under the options panel in the viewport which you can access by hitting N. In Blender when you add a new object you can get a floating panel that disappears on clicking anywhere else. You can bring it back by pressing F9 but this can be very confusing for beginners. These small things add up and end up making Blender really confusing to use. For example, I have been using Blender for years and I'm still not sure what settings are supposed to be in this panel. Where Blender beats Cinema 4D in its user interface 
is how easily you can switch between different panels, especially when animating. You can quickly toggle between the keyframe timeline and the graph editor using Control Tab. Blender's graph editor is also designed for speed and optimized to see more data while making it easy to make sense of the data. You can see all the location keyframes on the timeline without the timeline looking too cluttered. While Cinema 4D has its keyframes more ordered but in a way that makes the entire timeline look more cluttered than Blender. For example, if you want to see all the location keyframes at once, it becomes cluttered quite fast and you have no room to look at any other keyframes at once. Of course, in Cinema 4D, you can maximize any window using Control Shift Tab, but you can also do the same with Blender using an easier shortcut, Control Space. Talking of shortcuts, there is no debate here. Blender is the best 3D software in utilizing shortcuts and has the best shortcut combinations for everything. Object manager versus the outliner. When working on a professional level, you will find yourself having to manage hundreds if not thousands of objects in your scene. So it's important to have a way to manage large number of objects in your scene. So both applications have a scene manager. Blender's outliner is still in its infant stages with limited features. While Cinema 4D has had an object manager for years and is one of the best object managers in the industry. You can search, filter, sort, and do object parenting within the manager, features that lack in Blender's outliner. If you are to model something from scratch, the software you have more experience in will be the fastest for you. If we control for experience, so we get two people with the same level of experience in Blender and Cinema 4D, I objectively think they will be faster while finding it easier to model in Blender than in Cinema 4D, the modifier stack. To get the best out of any 3D application, you have to heavily rely on the modifier stack. Modifiers help you modify your objects in a non-destructive way, giving you a level of control and functionality you will never get with traditional polygon modeling. If we are to compare Blender and Cinema 4D's modifier stack, Blender barely competes with its 45 modifiers compared to Cinema 4D's 70 modifiers depending on how you count render engines. Blender comes with Eevee and Cycles, but in this comparison, we won't be counting Eevee as it's rarely used for any professional staff. Cinema 4D has Redshift, Octane, V-Ray, and an Arnold render support. So Cinema 4D takes this one as well. Add-ons and plugins. Blender has the largest plugin or add-on collection, but Cinema 4D has the best plugins, including X-Particles, Tabulant 3D, MoGraph, and the entire Red Giant suit. We can continue with this comparison, but it won't matter how long we make it. No matter how many points we make, Cinema 4D is always going to come on top. It's only when we bring in the issue of price that Blender beats Cinema 4D. But if Cinema 4D was free and open source as Blender, Cinema 4D would, would be a better choice. Or if Blender costed as much as Cinema 4D, which is around 100 euros a month, Cinema 4D will still be a better choice. Cinema 4D has been around longer and has had funding longer as a paid product with a dedicated team of developers than Blender. Blender is just now getting full-time developers and in the last few years, we have seen what that means with the rollout of Blender 2.8 and the massive waves it has created in the industry. There has been a lot of improvements, bug fixes and new functionality ever since. This is what Cinema 4D has had since the beginning. If Blender is to become a better software than Cinema 4D, it is going to take some time. But in the meantime, it has been a great 3D software which is open source and free and more importantly, it has created the competition needed in the industry to push the creativity of these 3D applications and giant companies are where we as artists want them to go. We may not be there yet, but I think the journey is quite promising. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, comment. It helps out the channel and also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.